earlier this week. And we get a caution early. That's the 52. Cody Vanderwall. He's caught the wall with the right rear already. Driving for Jimmy Means, making his third career start tonight. 19-year-old out of Colorado. Caution, yes, we are. There it is. The sixth of the night. And this time it's for Timmy Hill, who is smoking big time. Man, Michael Annette, what an opportunity right there. You're like, is it a tire rub or is it oil? Yeah. And you immediately turn to your sense of smell. Because when it's oil, you can smell it before you get to it. Well, unfortunately, they smelled the paint on the wall <laughs> on the right side of their car is what they smelled. Smoke everywhere, and that just hurts the visibility of everyone, right? Well, look. Visibility, no. I think it's oil on the racetrack. Watch this. As it blows up, you can see there, obviously, with Timmy Hill blowing up. But what happens behind there? These cars are sliding up and hitting the wall. Chase Brown. Right front here, man. Boom, you saw oh, yeah. man, both of them. Just Taylor. no both of them. Taylor. Taylor. Yeah, on ice right there. I mean, you literally have no control. Yeah. Cars just took yeah. off. Yeah. You don't see that very often. Oh, it's caution. Getting a report, it was the 98 of Chase Briscoe, and there you see it. Boy, what a rough night for him. A pair of penalties, gotten that oil, hit the wall, and now he's into the wall again. Yeah. Cheer. We'll get to the strategy in a moment. Right there. Yeah, there he is. I would say you're definitely... Likely, it looks, I mean, you just can't tell. It almost looks like there's, you know, the ball joint or something's broke, but I think it's just another flat tire. Cut top, definitely. Tire right there. Three might determine the outcome of the race. They're going to give it caution. Oh, it cautions back up. Already. Ooh, big damage. Right. That's Austin Hill. Full time driver. Protect your top. He is clear up top. Three quarter behind. He is clear up top. Hey, Jim. Oh, big hit. Nice one. Got turned right there. Caution is out for the ninth time. Dang it. Might had such a good run going right there in the top five. And, and this. Justin Algaier was just to his outside, and it looks like he might have moved up a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. It's pretty... Pretty tight racing right there. I don't know. Did you see that the, the push from Kyle Busch actually put Austin Sindrick in the lead there, Jamie? Did, did you well, see plan, that? I did observe that. What I didn't expect to happen, though, was for Noah Gregson to come out in second. I thought that Kyle would be able to hang on to him. And they're doing it down on the bottom. For Austin Sindrick, what do you do right here? Oh, are we going to get a caution? That was Allgaier that popped the wall. Kyle Busch going. He was doing, Brad was doing that last night, trying to break the draft. Big trouble. Spinning out down the front straightaway. Riley Herbst, we're going to get our 10th caution of the night. You know, Clint, we talked about it with Eric Amarola and Cup qualifying. That AstroTurf or fake grass has, has saved two cars now from being destroyed. Boy, well, you're running 150, 560 miles an hour. You get turned. It's tough to hang on to it. Uh, actually, Justin Haley got in a wall in front of him. It's just that track narrowing up right there. It collects yeah. so many people. Man, it's just unfortunate. Racing hard, three wide right there. Justin Haley got out there on that restart. Then you put somebody like Kyle Bush in there. Brandon Jones in the outside lane, moving to the front. And he pops the wall. Gregson around. Oh, my goodness. What a hit for Tom and Joe Martin. Total carnage. Saw Noah Gregson get loose underneath those cars. The rest was history. Justin Haley. I can't believe there's not more damage to that car. That was a massive impact he had yeah. being in the uh, the truck there. See him get loose right here, moving up the track, across that seam. It's just the rest is history. Not a lot of damage out of Harrison Burton. I think he'll be okay right there. You can see Justin Haley, his car's... Man, I don't know. You think that that's a lot of damage on there. You see these two cars right here. Man, that was a shot right there. I think it knocked his hands off the wheelie hit so hard right there. Yeah, and I'll tell you, I mean, sometimes we, we see these wrecks and you think massive impact, and from a driver's perspective, it wasn't that bad, and there's other times they don't look bad on TV, and, and they really sting. Well, I hit one last night. That was you're stunned. Yeah, you're stunned. I can tell you right now, that one did too. Well, at that point, you, you really are. Just
just instinct is trying to trying to drive that thing out of it no matter what the case may be but honestly as we keep beefing up the front suspension in these cars last night and you saw it if you saw me when i got out of the car it's kind of rolling my wrist it got caught in the wheel as it hit the wall it kind of snapped the wheel and that's what you got to be careful of and why they take their hands off the wheel the indy car drivers you see those guys with the rack and pinion steering the dirt late model guys that steering is a lot stronger and it'll break your wrist that Tommy you get your thumb Martin. hooked in, in a wheel. It's just a lot of things can go wrong right there if you're not careful. That Tommy Joe Mar, 11th caution that will take us to an overtime finish. And it'll be the sixth time we've gone to overtime with the Xfinity Series at Charlotte. Now I still cannot get over.